This video is brought to you by Shortform. Welcome back to Preservation Travels with Blaine and Kevin. Today, we're in the Central Garden Historic District in Memphis, Tennessee. We have a treat for you today here at our Restoration Nation, Preservation Travels with Lane and Kevin. We are in the National Historic District of Central Gardens right here in the middle of Memphis, Tennessee. And we are in an arts and crafts cutie. This beauty over a hundred years old looks like it was built yesterday. It retains so many of its original features, so much charm. We can't wait to share it with you. So sit back and enjoy this arts and crafts cutie. The vintage charm starts before we've even opened the front door with this beautifully stripped and refinished original oak door with six light beveled glass. Don't you love that arts and crafts carved detail? We hardly ever see that on these doors because most of the time these have been replaced. And we suspect the original mailbox. We even still have an original brass doorknob. Inside, you can see that all of the oak woodwork has been carefully stripped and refinished, so it glows like the day it was installed. We absolutely love these leaded glass side lights on either side of the fireplace and in the stairway that have a very typical rose motif for the period. And this stunning chandelier, period appropriate, has probably been hanging here since the day this house was built and retains all of its prisms. The heavy arts and crafts influence continues right through this beautiful mantelpiece. And you'll note that all of the floors are hardwood oak as well. You have beautiful continuity of wood tone in this space. I don't know if you're like me, but I always want to learn more than I actually have time for. You know, Lane and I are super busy. And so when I do want to learn something, I want it in small bites. That's where short form is great. They're super detailed. So you get the book's key points at a deep level. They have interactive exercises to help you apply the ideas you just learned so you don't forget them like I do every time I read a book. They add smart insights like connecting what one author thinks about another author. You end up understanding the ideas at a super deep level and building these awesome connections between ideas. You can learn a book at different levels. For a 10 minute overview, check out the one page summary, which is already better than other apps like Blinkist. Then to go deeper, Read the full guide. Right now on short form, I'm reading The Design of Everyday Things. I think this is super interesting. It goes into how the world is designed and how you interact with the world. From doorknobs to smartphone apps, design pervades our lives to the point that it often becomes completely invisible. 
It helps us make sense of how we complete a home and encourages us to make it more user-friendly. To get a free trial and 25% off an annual subscription, just go to our link, shortform.com slash restoration. Into the dining room for more fantastic original features. I'm gonna show you one of my favorites here in just a minute, but let's note this gorgeous wainscoting with plate rack all around the room, once again stripped to its original golden oak shine. Do you see that pocket door? It's one continuous pocket door that extends the entire five feet of the opening between the living room and dining room. And once again, it's been stripped and refinished so we can see the original incised detail and the gorgeous hardware. I adore this original chandelier. And I know you get annoyed when I say original over and over and over, but sometimes that's just the word that works. Not only is the chandelier retained, but it has all of its etched glass and fringed shades extant as well. This, this is my favorite. It is the original 1900 period thermostat. You can see that it has its wall clock. It's labeled by the original factory that manufactured it and it has the key to bleed the radiators. I've never seen another. Let's take a look at the space that's been most altered in the house. The current owner has lived here for 16 years and in that time, she's completely redone the back spaces of the home. So you have a very modern kitchen space with beautiful stone countertops. Great chef's oven and lots of storage. Off of the kitchen is a space that is being used as a secondary family room. It's a sunken living space, huge and very comfortable, but it also has a full bath attached to it. So, were this my home, I would probably transition this space into a wonderful main floor, main bedroom. And that way you're not taxed with climbing those stairs every night. And of course, from this space, we have wonderful views out onto the back garden. Heading upstairs, we have to take a close look at the stunningly restored oak staircase. And right at the top of that first landing, another one of those beautiful leaded glass windows with that rose motif. I can't believe that after all these years, these windows and their hardware are still extant in this home. These are treasures. The upstairs has a wide landing with more beautiful golden oak floors. All of the bedrooms are spacious. Any one of these bedrooms could be used as a main bedroom and they all have wonderful closet space built in. A great feature to find in a home of this age. Note all the natural light that floods in through these original windows that still retain their wavy glass and their original hardware. I love that the highly detailed radiators are still present in every room. And of course, this beautiful arts and crafts hardware that's on every door throughout the house.
The bathroom up here has been completely remodeled. It doesn't retain any of its original features, but it is done in a period appropriate style and is wonderfully functional. Lots of these stunning vintage light fixtures still fill the house. The smallest of the bedrooms, which would have been a sleeping porch originally, I think would make a spectacular sewing or crafting room. And yes, there is walk-up attic access and lots of attic storage, but I'm not taking you up there tonight. We hope you've enjoyed this look at this absolutely beautiful craftsman home, exquisitely maintained by the owner for the last 16 years, and now it's looking for a new steward. If you think that steward might be you, don't forget the description and the Zillow listing are in the description below. We're not the realtor. We do not represent this house. We don't guarantee it in any way. We just wanted to share with you the beautiful historic details that you can find here in Memphis, Tennessee. So again, if you think you're the new steward of this beautiful home, if you cross your heart and promise not to paint any of the beautiful oak woodwork so beautifully maintained in this home, give the realtor in the description below a call. And who knows, maybe your new home is right here in the middle of Memphis, Tennessee. See you next time.